Good morning, gang. Happy Friday morning. So, uh, here it is, about 5 o'clock, and I'd already recorded the video that I was going to put up this morning and sat down to find out what else was going on and, oh, something a little bit more important. Yeah, okay. So, we like the chemical fires that we have in East Palestine, Ohio, Kissimmee, Florida, over at Oklahoma. Hey, Let's not let Boston stay out of this one. So, yeah. We have a, another hazardous material situation going on this morning in Braintree, which is a suburb of Boston. This one's a little different. This one is the company that cleans up hazmat spills. So... Hmm, I wonder what this could be. Does uh, sabotage, does something stink besides the chemicals? Take a look here what local news is saying about this. Now in Braintree, a large fire burning in an industrial park. There's the 19's Victoria Price. She's there. Kim, this is the Clean Harbors Waste Disposal Site here in Braintree. Still a very active firefight. Let me get out of the way so you get a better look here. Uh, a few dozen firefighters out here, two ladder trucks still actively hosing down uh, at least three tractor trailers that appear to be on fire here at the waste disposal site. Uh, as you can tell, very thick flames, uh, some pretty strong fumes from some of that smoke. We are upwind of it, so it's not really blowing up into where we are. Uh, but again, you can see a very active firefight, very aggressively hosing down that flame, those fires from those two ladder trucks there. Uh, a very large response. Again, this is still a very active firefight, so not a lot of information about what exactly may have caused this fire to break out again this is a waste disposal site so very potentially a hazmat situation that they're dealing with here in braintree uh, but again the main point very aggressive fire that's going on here and we're going to stand here keep tabs on the situation bring you any updates if the situation does develop but for now uh, reporting live in braintree victoria price seven news yeah so that's what's going on in boston okay now this fire started about 11 o'clock last night and they are still working on putting it out. It's nothing huge like the Kissimmee fire or certainly nothing like what's going on in East Palestine. But I want you to understand who this company is. All right? Clean Harbor's been around for about 35 years. They're a parent company of Safety Clean now who's been around for about 50. And their job is to clean up hazardous and non-hazardous Waste. Now, let's think about this for a second. I have mentioned the eco-terrorism, stuff like that. What better way to prevent or clean up, you know, prevent the cleanup of a problem than eliminating the company that does that work? There aren't a whole lot of these companies that do this, okay? Now... This is all new, okay? This is certainly a developing story. Nothing big has been said yet. But I want you to look, I want you to think about this, especially if you're in the Boston area, because we don't know what's on fire yet. That hasn't been released to the public. Yet overnight, the city of Braintree, suburb of Boston, okay? told residents to make sure their windows are closed. Though in February in Boston, I'm not thinking there's a whole lot of people with open windows. Uh, that, that there's a smell in the air, that there are chemicals in the air. Now, those chemicals could be the plastics that are burning from these trucks. We don't know what was in the trucks, anything of the sort. Could they have been empty trucks? Sure. Could they have been full of hazardous chemicals? That's true, too. We're certainly not going to know anything more about this until the morning comes about. But I just find it really, really strange that with all these toxic chemicals going up in the air for fires lately, <coughs> yep, got to have one of those weak. 
with all these toxic chemicals going up in the air lately, now a company that cleans this up all of a sudden has a fire, okay? Why? Why did, again, semi-trailers don't normally spontaneously combust, okay? These things were just parked in a parking lot. How did they catch fire? That's going to be interesting. You know, was this set? I'm going to guess yes, but I have nothing to base it on. It's just, you know, Occam's razor, okay? The, the correct solution is usually the most obvious one. So take a look at that. But for those of you in Boston, or in Braintree at least, keep your windows closed. Guys, pay attention to what's going on with all this stuff. This is not a good thing. This is this is very suspicious, at least to me, with, with, with everything else that's going on. Does this mean that all of a sudden we see... I mean, what would be really ironic and really obvious is if all of a sudden we see a chemical spill somewhere in the Boston area today or tomorrow or this weekend. And, gee, the company that was supposed to go out and clean it up isn't available. Okay? Look at it that way. These are things that we need to pay attention to. We need to prepare for, all right? Maybe it's time that where you go, you know, I, I've been sitting on the fence of buying a, a gas mask. You know, I've mentioned Mira, M-I-R-A, Mira Safety before, uh, where you get high quality gas masks. Uh, maybe it's time you put the money out there because you got to breathe this stuff and does this get in the water system in Boston? Who knows? Okay. Does this get in the air? If they're telling you to close the windows, yeah, it means it's in the air. Okay. Like I said, don't know if this is from the rubber on the tires burning, if this is from the plastics in there, but we don't know if these trucks were full of chemicals either used to clean or chemicals that were removed from the last job they were on. Either way, this is just another one in a long list this week of deadly chemical fires that are all of a sudden starting. Like I said, I'm still going with the terrorist type. See what you can do. Hey, we can go after this. Or, hey, we can go after that. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. But I'm going to err on the side of caution. <laughs>